If you clicked on this video, I believe it is not an accident. I believe that with everything going on in the world, that you are in a prime position to capitalize and take up what God has for you because you are waking up to the agenda of the world. You are waking up to a better purpose in life. You are struggling. You may be in a season of testing. You may have uh, seen the light in a sense towards who God is, who Christ is, and you have de a desire to do more than what you see in life and with everything going on around you. And I believe that if you really take seriously the next couple of months, the next year, there's going to be a great blessing on your life. This is not some prosperity uh, prophecy or any uh, of that, but I'm just telling you that if you really take up your cross, I believe that if you really humble yourself before the Lord, that you really ask the Lord for discernment, you ask the Lord and you come before him desiring for more things and to take your lukewarm spirituality or a as a new believer, wherever you are, that you take every single day seriously from this point forward, that you will have greater, one year from now, a greater life ahead of you. You will be in a better position to handle the stresses of life, the sin, your the people around you, that you would get rid of things that you know you should have done a long time ago, and that you would take up other habits, other choices, people, whatever it is, your community, your job, whatever that may be for you, and that you would be a better steward of this. And I believe that if you wake up, you're, you're shaken awake. No more are you going to cave to the culture, the ways of the world. No more are you going to just stand on the sidelines. No more are you going to just receive what they tell you to believe or to eat or to inject or to do to you know go left or go right, whatever it is. You know that your life is precious. You know that there is more than meets the eye and you don't want to be complacent anymore. Join many of us that are if you want to call them chosen ones, if you want to call them people that are sold out for Christ, that want to do something, make an impact on this world because life is too short. You know there's a heaven, there's a hell. You know that there's eternity. You know that you want something bigger than the lukewarm, mundane life that you have before you. You have no joy. You're anxious all the time. You're stressed. You're not happy with your situation. Yes, the Christian life and the faith is not going to be easy. I didn't say that, but it, it will be easy under the yoke of Christ. It will be satisfying, joyful, peaceful under the yoke of Christ. And you have to figure out what this means for you. Many people have just been doing the same old routine, same old nine to five, the same old habits, the same old things over and over, the same baggage that just consumes you all day, left and right, whatever it is. But now is a time to wake up now is the time to get right before the Lord because you know there's something more out there. And I'm saying this to shake you up for what's coming, to accept, to embrace God's sovereignty over your life, God's sovereignty over this nation, over the world, and what's happening. This next year is going to be very tough for many people, economically speaking, financially speaking, with world geopolitics, geopolitical stuff, just many things happening. You are being shaken awake. You are being tested because God is refining you like pure gold. He's putting you through the fire. He's putting you under a very heavy test. And it's up to you to pass it and to get beyond this elementary stage of understanding of Christianity, of your faith, your belief system, and to get beyond, to elevate, and to have more for your life. Break the yoke of bad doctrine, bad culture, a culture over kingdom, break free of this sectarianism with churches, break free of what people are telling you, what you have to do as opposed to taking up the life, the calling, the stewardship that God has given you. That doesn't mean no accountability. That doesn't mean just do whatever you want. What that means is a lot of you have been yoked under man, not under the Spirit of God, not under the Holy Spirit, not under the authority of Christ, allowing Him to drive you and your car to whatever destination that you're going. So you have to break free from this. You have to get right before him. There's a revolution going on in the spiritual realm. God is breaking yokes. He's destroying his uh, historical things that have brought man down, shackled them for such a long time. And now is the time to get up, to take up your cross, to realize what it means to be a newborn believer, but also that uh, shouldn't just be drinking baby milk, but rather to have solid food, as Paul talks about. This church, 
in this end times, into the kingdom age, you need more than the baby milk stuff that you've been fed, that you understand of just your Sunday school Christianity. You need to know more. You have to grow. You have to be sanctified. You have to be in a better place for the sake of the body of Christ. So if this is you, I want to encourage you. I want to implore you. Get plugged in, first and foremost, in the Word, in prayer, and also as you are cleaning your life up, as you're growing, as you're taking this time of testing and suffering or whatever is going on in your life, and you would take it more seriously because this is not a joke. This this life that we're, that we're given, that God has given you stewardship over, we all have the same amount of time, but it's how you use it. How are you going to make the decisions, your cho- the choices in your life that God has given you, your talents, your, your skills, your assignments, whatever that God has for you. So I just wanted to encourage you with this as a word of exhortation for your life. So love you guys. Talk to you guys very soon.